think there are special people that have a certain mindset to deliver on their vision. have to have tunnel vision and you got to have blinders on and not to see anything that is on the left and the right side and just really focus you have to focus on the thing that you really want to be the best at if you have a very clear vision of where you want to go you always will be motivated don't be afraid of taking risks don't be afraid of failing It's nothing that can be manufactured in your mind. You, you can't make that. You either got it or you don't. That mindset, that drive. It's a weird thing, but you just, nothing you can learn. That attitude can take you far beyond your natural potential, if you have the heart. Todos os santos lá de cima, Nossa Senhora, que proteja e que ilumine o Ramon nessa jornada maravilhosa que ele está construindo. The number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go. Because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we're going and that you're very passionate about that. And if you see it always in front of you, the goal. The other thing that's important is that you get to shoot for the top. You get to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. You have to take risks, you know, no matter what it takes. Yes, I may fail, but I'm going to go and take that risk and go for it. The more risks that you take, the higher the reward is on the end. How did you deal with losing? I asked myself the question, how could I use this in a positive way to help me grow and achieve my goals? You still have the same goal. 
perseverance, sticking to something, having a goal, sticking to it, and not, not achieving your goal and still sticking to it. Keeping your focus. You gotta be focused so you could be on the path and being going in the right direction. And that's what separates the wood bees from the guy to actually get there. You find athletes who have to face challenges of survival, you know, in such a way, you're either going to swim or you're going to sink. It's do or die. If you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. He had to be successful. He didn't have a lot of choices. So he had to really sink his teeth into bodybuilding. Not giving up. Moving forward. And being somebody. Being successful. <laughs>